Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing a little mini makeup haul for you. I've been using a lot of new products lately and I just absolutely adore them. So I thought I would go ahead and share them with you guys. And as usual, everything is completely free of toxic ingredients. They're cruelty free and they're just really awesome. So I'm going to jump into it and I hope you enjoyed the video. So first off, I have the RMS Living Luminizer, and this is a cream highlighter. And honestly, I have been eyeing this product for a couple years, but I've just never bought it. Um, I'm kind of afraid to use highlighters because sometimes I feel like they can really accentuate any skin texture problems that you're having, and since I have had, um, like, problems with acne in the past, I do have a little bit of textural problems with my skin. So I don't like to highlight that, um, but this product has completely changed that for me. There's so many rave reviews for this product, so I just felt like it was something that I really wanted to try. And I am so happy that I bought it because this has turned into a holy grail product for me. And I don't necessarily use this when I have a full face of makeup on. I actually prefer this just for my everyday skin. So I wake up, I cleanse my skin, I put on my moisturizer, um, and then I just apply a little bit of this to the um, high points of my cheekbones, a little bit down the center of my nose, um, a little bit on my brow bone, a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit here, wherever you want that light to shine. I have makeup on now, so. I don't know if you can see this a little bit there and it just gives you this really beautiful satin pearl finish there's no shimmer in it that is one thing that I don't like with highlighters is when there's shimmer I just think I don't know I just don't like that personally for myself but this just gives you like this glow like it looks like you just you know, came back from a nice refreshing jog or something and you just have this kind of like, not iridescent, just like this, I guess like satiny pearl finish. I kind of feel like it's mermaid skin, you know, how they have that beautiful sheen to their skin. So this is just like a staple in my everyday routine now. So love it. And then next up, this is actually what I have on my lips right now. It's by 100% Pure, and it's just their Fruit Pigmented Lip and Cheek Stain. Oh my, you guys. Looking back at this footage, I applied way too much of this tint, so my lips look super pink for the rest of the video, and it doesn't help that my shirt is bright pink as well. So clearly it's buildable. Maybe you want a look this intense, but I would usually never apply this much. I prefer just applying a small amount and making it look natural, like in this clip right here. And then you can apply a little bit of the leftovers to the cheeks dab there and a dab there and then just put that into your tap that into your skin you could have probably could have put a bit more but it just leaves this really beautiful flush I mean you don't even have to do this much like this is kind of like a full lip but you can just put like a teeny, teeny little bit. It's kind of like a beet stain, actually. And I just have the ingredients here that I'll read off to you. So in this, it contains uh, aloe, organic aloe juice, vegetable glycerin, extracts of calendula flower, green tea leaf, blueberry skin, beetroot juice, pomegranate, turmeric root, bilberry, red wine, lavender flower, grape, hyaluronic acid, grapefruit seed, Longsura flower and Longsura honeysuckle flower. Um, yeah, so really good ingredients. Like that is really just, you know, using the fruit to pigment it. One thing I will say though, I don't really like the taste of it. It has kind of a weird taste. Probably the ingredients like the essential oils and the turmeric, they probably don't have that best of a taste. So I guess it's better than putting like some artificial flavoring in, but yeah, I really like it. Yeah. And then staying on the lips, next I have these from Panji Organics. Wow, I have fallen in love. I have, I think every color that they have, 
They're not that expensive. They're like $8 each or something. These are just little lip tints. They are extremely moisturizing. They have a great scent to them and they're beautiful. They have this sheen to them. They're not glossy. I don't want to say like a metallic sheen, better things the color better things oh my gosh this is beautiful it is just kind of like a nude peachy color um just brings this beautiful sheen to your lips it's so pretty i love it i love it so i think that one's my favorite my second favorite shade is raspberry beret i love kind of like purpley mauve rose lip colors so this one is perfect for me it's that's gonna be a staple oh wait Okay, sorry, I was meaning that for a thousand kisses. I think a thousand kisses is like a lighter version um, of Raspberry Beret. They're both beautiful, but they just kind of have that little like rosy, um, kind of like almost like a purpley tint. I don't know if I'm describing them right. And then there was two reds. So Fast Love and Let's Dance. And they're really cute and small. So you can just put them in your pocket, put them in your purse. Um, take them everywhere with you and you always have a little bit of lip stuff on the go. And then a couple more lip products that I've been loving are the Henne Organics Lip Scrubs. I won't go into too much detail, they're just sugar scrubs that smell and taste absolutely delicious. It'll be a struggle for you not to eat these. That is how good they smell. I have Norctic Berries and Lavender Mint. Oh. It is like heaven applying those. But those aren't makeup products, those are more skincare, so I don't know why I'm adding those in. But um, I have been using their lip tints as well. These are very luxurious lip tints. I love the color Bare for the summer. It's just kind of like a nice nude color. And I love the color Azalea. It is so beautiful. Uh, when I first saw Azalea, I was like, I'm not going to like that one. It looks like it has this weird sheen to it. It looks too pink. But when I applied it to my lips, I fell in love and I was like, yes, this is the ultimate no makeup makeup lip tint. And these have the same ingredients as their um, original lip balm, which I've been a fan of for years. I've recommended it to you guys many many times so definitely check out henny organics if you haven't already they are just like the ultimate luxury lip balms and i'm so excited that they made lip tint formulas because it's always nice to have a little bit of color to make you just you know glow even more and next up i have a really cool brow product this is the green tea fiber brow builder by 100 pure and I probably won't go into too much detail about this one because I am planning on doing a video on just all my favorite natural brow products, but I've really been enjoying this. Um, I think it's kind of like the natural version of Benefit's Give Me Brow. So the whole point is to make your brows kind of look thicker. I always love doing my brows, even if I have no other makeup on, I just feel really kind of more polished and. I don't know when I do my brows I really like it so I got the color soft brown at first when I got it uh, the first time I applied it I put a lot on and I was thinking this soft brown looks a bit too light but now I go kind of like I wipe some of the excess off the brush and I just apply it through my brows and it just gives them this this full look and a little bit more color and I would highly, highly recommend. And this has like green tea. Uh, actually, does it have the ingredients here? It's kind of hard to read the ingredients, but yeah, it has green tea, a lot of different like rice powder, different things to help your brows actually grow and help them to be conditioned. Um, so if you have like patchy brows or anything, this might be a cool product to try. But I have a lot of uh, natural eyebrow products that I love so I'm gonna do a whole dedicated video on that and then is this the last thing I'm gonna show you I think this is this is the last thing I'm gonna show you um, this is by Hint Hint Beauty H Y N T not too sure and this is their duet perfecting concealer and I can't remember why I bought this I was just looking for a new concealer. I'm always on the search for a holy grail concealer. 
and I saw a lot of re good reviews on this one and it is a beautiful cream concealer a little goes a long way like this you s need like a speck and it'll go such a long ways um, I got the color light and let me tell you it is light uh, I basically just use this under my eyes because it is quite light I find it applies best with a beauty blender or just like the warmth of your fingertips just like pat that into your skin it's really really good so if you're wanting to try out a new concealer I would highly recommend this so I think that's it guys that was my little mini natural makeup haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe found some new products that you want to try and can you guys just be proud of me because I did this hair all by myself today my mom didn't do it well she taught me how to do it but I did the hairstyle myself so I guess I will see you guys in my next video